An update tonight in an ABC 15 investigation. More employees are now coming forward and filing retaliation complaints against Southwest Airlines. The complaints are over how they were treated for using their earned sick time. Yeah, since we reported on this, the state agency that oversees labor laws in Arizona has more than doubled its fines against the airline to $700,000. ABC 15 investigator Ann Ryman giving you more context tonight. 22 Southwest Airlines employees have filed retaliation complaints against their employer. And each of those complaints ends up at Arizona's Industrial Commission for review. The Labor Department received another retaliation complaint against Southwest Airlines. The complaints are all similar. Aircraft mechanics say they were given warnings in their personnel files that they could be fired for using their paid sick time that they earned. These people that uh, have filed the complaints all of them are 20 plus year employees. Rui Leonardo, head of the local aircraft union, says many of the employees are older. And all of them have over seven, 800 hours of sick time accumulated, thus showing that they were not abusing their sick time. But they say they got written up for exceeding nine sick days within 12 months. So Southwest is giving us a benefit that we cannot use. ASU law professor Michael Selmy says under Arizona law, any paid sick leave the worker has earned, they can take. And they can take without retaliation from the employer, without discipline from the employer. A letter in the file would constitute discipline for actually uh, taking advantage of the benefits that are provided. Southwest Airlines telling ABC 15 they provide employees with a generous benefits package. The airline also saying in a statement the employees who filed complaints greatly exceeded 40 hours of sick leave in a year. They received written warnings saying their attendance needed to improve and none of those employees lost their jobs. Southwest Airlines says it strongly disagrees with the Labor Department's decision and is appealing the fines. Those cases will be scheduled for hearings before a judge and then the judge will decide whether the airline violated state law. We promise we'll stay on top of this issue and keep you updated on the latest developments. I'm investigator Ann Ryman, ABC 15, Arizona.